Metamorphosis, the process or result of changing from one appearance, state or phase to another. Armed with an appealing pop style that mesmerises the masses album after album, Kylie Minogue is a dance floor icon. Over the years, Kylie's metamorphosis from teen pop star to self-assured, scantily clad sex kitten has seen her become one of the biggest stars to come out of Australia. The superstar has had a series of international hits since she first scored with a 1987 cover of The Locomotion, and her second single, I Should Be So Lucky, soared to number one in the British charts. While fans loved it, it was a hit Kylie admits she didn't want to be associated with. I actually tried to disown I Should Be So Lucky for a while, for a few years, and it was, um, strangely enough, Nick Cave who led me back to that little oasis. <laughs> um, yeah, there was, a, there was a point in about 98, I think it was 97, 98, where I, I, I finally realised you can run but you can't hide. Kylie Minogue is no ordinary pop princess. The diva has had number one hits in dozens of countries during three consecutive decades. While over the years her career has hit rocky patches, each time Kylie, renowned for her hard work and drive, has bounced back. She hit back in the new millennium with songs that were even catchier. Her popularity soared after her critically acclaimed 2001 album, Fever, which reached number one in charts around the world and spawned the massive dance hit, Can't Get You Out Of My Head. The pop princess has gone through several reinventions, physically and musically, trading her goody-goody girl-next-door image for a stylish, sexually charged woman in Can't Get You Out Of My Head. Her 2003 album Body Language developed chart-topping momentum and saw Kylie add R&B touches and a series of raunchy video clips released with singles such as Red-Blooded Woman. She experimented with edgier material on the song Slow, which saw her nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Dance Recording. In just one of many transformations she's known during her long career, she changed direction for new songs on her greatest hits album, Ultimate Kylie. I Believe In You and Giving You Up both went on to become top 10 hits. In 2005, it was reported that Kylie had been diagnosed with early stage breast cancer and would receive medical treatment in her hometown of Melbourne, Australia. Her health problems forced her to cancel the remainder of her showgirl The Greatest Hits World Tour. Eight months on, and her cancer treatment was a success, leading Kylie slowly back into the world of performing. Kylie Minogue has become a music icon around the world through her ability to continually update her image, with her metamorphosis from the girl next door in the 1980s to today's sexy but innocent pop princess. She has established one of the longest and most successful careers as a performer in pop music, and after all she's been through, no one could blame this pop star for wanting to approach her comeback slowly. The product of an acting dynasty, Drew Barrymore's metamorphosis from child star to wild child to respected actress, has seen her become a powerful name in Hollywood. An adorable child star who overcame an out-of-control adolescence 
and reclaimed her post as America's sweetheart. Drew experienced a career roller coaster spanning two decades before the age of 25. She shot to fame and captured hearts as Gertie when she co-starred in the 1982 Steven Spielberg film E.T. the Extraterrestrial. In the wake of this sudden stardom, she endured a notoriously troubled childhood, drinking alcohol by the time she was nine, smoking marijuana at 10, and snorting cocaine at 12. The most famous child actress of her generation and a victim of the Hollywood lifestyle, Drew had too much too soon and began to attract less attention for her acting than for the tabloid stories about her pre-adolescent addictions. She is quick to acknowledge how important E.T. was for her career, saying it opened all the doors for her. E.T. was absolutely real to me. I understood that it took mechanics, and some people being in his suit and a woman doing his hands to make him manifest and come alive. But I just thought that he was, you know, a guardian angel, very real. Although overcoming her substance abuse problems by the time she entered adulthood, she maintained her bad girl image and used her newfound role as a sex symbol to stage a career comeback. Through hard work, she bounced back professionally and has not only put the past behind her, but has also helped audiences forget her unconventional childhood. Under her company, Flower Films Productions, Drew joined forces with Cameron Diaz and Lucy Liu in a big screen version of the 70s TV series, Charlie's Angels. A box office hit, a successful sequel followed the film. While she's just as comfortable kicking butt and playing the tough girl, Drew continues to be highly bankable in romantic comedies. She reunited with her wedding singer co-star, Adam Sandler, in the 2004 film, 50 first dates. In an interesting twist on the usual romantic comedy genre, Drew is relaxed, charming and likeable and exudes extraordinary star quality. Not just an actress, Drew has often helped out behind the scenes with her company, producing several of her hit films, including 2005's Fever Pitch. your soul to invest in something you can't control. You're a romantic. Yeah. Known in some countries as a perfect catch, Flower Films movies are characteristically marked by having Drew starring in a prominent role. And to date, her company's films have grossed over 450 million US dollars worldwide. Hi. Drew lent her voice and morphed into an animated character for the film version of the monkey classic Curious George. Ever had the tuna hash on Thursday? Never. It's really quite something. I'll remember that. There's also a meatless meatloaf on Monday, which is quite special. An actress who has spent almost all her life in the public eye, Drew Barrymore has grown up in front of the world. Her metamorphosis from child star to party girl to beloved actress has certainly proved her versatility. <laughs> Her latest status is as a content and grounded star whose talent and uncommon likability make her a compassionate but tough leading lady. An icon thanks to her proven ability to reinvent herself and her music, Madonna is also one of the most successful artists in the history of pop. Her metamorphosis from teen pop star to dance club queen has seen her music reach new generations of fans and propel her to even greater musical heights. America! She got her controversial start on MTV when they began airing her raunchy music videos. I want my MTV. Her video for the 1989 hit, Like a Prayer, caused huge controversy and saw Madonna witness a murder and seduce a black Jesus to a backdrop of burning crosses. 
It caused outcry and was condemned by Christian organisations as blasphemous. In 2006, MTV viewers voted it the most groundbreaking music video of all time. The public outcry was the best publicity and her album soared to number one and stayed there for over a month. Her need to shock mellowed considerably when she gained a newfound respect for her remarkable portrayal of Eva Peron in Evita, which earned her a Golden Globe for Best Actress. As Madonna grew up and had a family, so did her values. I've changed. My views in life have changed. Hopefully I've grown up, evolved, I have a family, I have children. Her 1998 album, Ray of Light, earned her the strongest reviews of her career since Like a Prayer and was widely considered by critics to be one of her greatest artistic achievements. The album featured a change in Madonna's music as well as personal lyrics about motherhood, fame and spirituality. Is you Madonna? Are you my driver? Is you Madonna? Your Babylons look less big than they do on the telly, but I still definitely would. You wish. Her next album was Music, and saw her get back to the spirit of dance, pop and house sounds. The album produced three hit singles, including the worldwide number one, Music. The album's third single, What It Feels Like For A Girl, featured yet another controversial video directed by Madonna's husband, Guy Ritchie, and was banned by MTV due to its graphic violence. Over time, she has kept one step ahead of the game by jumping from persona to persona. The original video for her 2003 release, American Life, was widely condemned and was revoked on the day of its release due to its graphic images and anti-war message. I'd like to express my extreme point of view. I'm not a Christian and I'm not a Jew. I'm just living out the American dream and I just realized that nothing is what it seems. The queen of pop's creation for her Hollywood clip features several transformations and plenty of controversial imagery, including her trademark erotic antics. Madonna provided guest vocals on Britney Spears' single, Me Against the Music, which became a massive dance hit in the US. The pop star who built her fame with catchy songs, sexy outfits and steamy videos, Madonna reinvented her image yet again when she wrote a set of children's books, allowing the public to see her motherly side. In 2004, Madonna embarked on the Reinvention Tour, which became the highest grossing tour of 2004, earning 125 million US dollars, proving she was just as popular as ever. She admits that reinvention comes naturally to her. I don't know, I don't like to repeat myself, don't like to stay in the same place for too long, and I'm in the mood to dance, so. Madonna has dominated the music charts with a succession of multi-million selling albums and her fashion influence on young women has been felt right around the globe. Her physical and musical metamorphosis over her career is one of the reasons she remains the Queen of Pop. Michael Jackson has been at the forefront of pop culture for the last quarter of a century. Known as the king of pop music, his metamorphosis from a handsome young African-American boy to a fair-skinned, troubled performer hasn't stopped millions of fans loving his history-defining music. Michael began his musical career at the age of seven as the lead singer of the Jackson Five, a band he created with his siblings. He began a solo career in 1979, but did not truly become a fully-fledged star until the 80s, the decade he personified, defined and ruled so completely. In his solo career, the singer recorded and co-produced the best-selling album of all time, Thriller. With worldwide sales over 60 million, he also received seven Grammy Awards and charted seven number one singles in the US, including Billie Jean. Yeah. 
The album's title track was accompanied by a revolutionary music video. The 14-minute thriller was critically acclaimed and redefined the concepts of music videos. The song spent over 37 weeks at number one and remained on the Billboard album chart for 122 weeks. At this point, Michael transformed into a music idol and instantly became one of the biggest artists in the history of pop music. In 1987, he returned with his highly anticipated follow-up, Bad. The album reached the number one spot, but didn't quite reach the heights of Thriller. By this time, the dramatic change in the colour of his skin didn't go unnoticed by his fans and the world. His song, Leave Me Alone, places a particular emphasis on the negative media influence on his personal life and public image. It was seen as a plea to escape from his cult superstar status. Michael's sister Janet accompanied her brother on the top five single, Scream, which further demonstrated his distaste for the media surrounding his family life. You Are Not Alone from his multi-platinum album, History, became the second most successful Michael Jackson single released in the 90s. The film clip showed off his new skin colour and starred his wife, Lisa Marie Presley. His 2001 album, Invincible, debuted at number one in 13 countries, and his song, You Rock My World, became his first top 10 single since You Are Not Alone. In 2003, Michael released a compilation of his number one hits, and the album sold over six million copies worldwide. Only one new song was added to the album, One More Chance, which showed the transformation the King of Pop had gone through over his career. After his massive success in the 80s and 90s, Michael seemed to become introverted by his celebrity. A reclusive star to begin with, his physical appearance changed drastically amid speculation of plastic surgery, and his behaviour became alarmingly bizarre, making him a consistent target for the tabloids. His flamboyant dress sense also singled him out for public scrutiny. Fans and media have watched Michael Jackson's metamorphosis over the years with much interest and anticipation. The king of pop skills as a singer, dancer, writer and businessman are unparalleled and it's these prodigious talents that will ultimately prevail over the negative aspects of his life. Blonde, brunette, fat or skinny. <gasps> this Oscar winner's dedication to her roles have seen her become a Hollywood favourite. Screen beauty Renee Zellweger's metamorphosis, from voluptuous star to skinny actress, has seen her weight gain for film roles dominate tabloid headlines. For her role in hit 2001 film, Bridget Jones's Diary, Renee successfully tackled a British accent and weight gain to transform her into the title character. She put on over 12 kilograms for the chick flick that chronicles the weight and alcohol intake of a 30-something single Londoner. The actress sparked a media frenzy when she rapidly returned to her skinny frame after fattening up for the film. While her weight was still the source of much speculation, she slimmed down for her Oscar-nominated role in hit musical Chicago. Start to do that. Yeah! Roxy wants it. All my life I wanted to have my own act. In a role far removed from her character in Bridget Jones's diary, Renee appeared as toned and spelt cabaret singer Roxy Hart in the big screen adaptation. 
Renee worked hard for her vampish role, sticking to a strict exercise and diet regimen to ensure she'd look the part. The actress also had limited singing and dancing experience prior to this film and endured rigorous training sessions in the months leading up to filming. Her slenderness was evident in the 2003 romantic comedy Down With Love, in which she starred alongside Ewan McGregor. Renee's dedication to her film career is evident in the physical transformation she undergoes for her characters. In her Academy Award-winning performance in 2003's Cold Mountain, opposite Nicole Kidman, she was barely recognisable as a rural farmhand. I can plow all day, I'm a worker, number two. Ain't no man better than me, because there ain't no man around who ain't old or full of mischief. I know your plot. Her role was a far cry from the glamorous Renee we see on the red carpets. She agreed to reprise her role as Bridget Jones in the film's sequel and admitted she wonders what the long-term impact of gaining weight for the films will have on her health. It doesn't happen overnight and it doesn't happen without work and attention and, you know, you have to be careful and it's a pretty dramatic change, so it definitely has its, its effects. Um, Hopefully the long-term ones will be minimal. <laughs> Hopefully the old, the old beater in there is doing okay with all the cholesterol I've been introducing into the system in the last few months, but we'll see. She was reportedly paid a $3.2 million bonus to pack on the pounds for her reprised role in 2005 and apparently ate 20 donuts a day to achieve the rounder figure needed for the British singleton. Producers reportedly paid her $112,000 for every kilogram she put on. I haven't had a very high regard for your wobbly bits. Really? The Hollywood beauty hit back at reports in 2005 that she was anorexic after she again lost the weight she'd put on for the second Bridget Jones in a short space of time. Renee Zellweger's metamorphosis into Bridget Jones intrigued and fascinated, and only time will tell whether she'll be convinced to step into the role again, given the physical makeover she'd have to undertake. Her transformations from this to this is further proof that Renee Zellweger is one of Hollywood's most dedicated actresses. I don't want you to see any of my properly bits.